Additionally, we have the new Excel wizard. Um, so this is, this is a thing that a lot of users have requested. And essentially what this does is it automatically creates a link to Excel and imports or exports your data to or from Simulate and um, just at a few clicks of the button. You'll find this on the new data and rules tab over here to the right. And so we'll go ahead and create an Excel connection here for demonstration. The first thing you see, that this would be your list of all of the connections that you've created. Since we don't have any, we might as well create a new one. And we have a very straightforward dialog that allows us to um, create this link to Excel. So the first thing we'll want to do is we're going to import a um, arrival schedule that we've already created in Excel and bring it over to Simulate. So we'll go ahead and browse for that. And what Simulate automatically does is it finds the, the range of populated cells within Excel and automatically imports them based on which sheet that you'd like to choose. And you can see that it automatically um, populates this dropdown with all of the sheets within our Excel um, workbook. Uh, we, we just want to take sheet one, for example, and then we'll want to choose where we're going to put that within, within, um, uh, within Simulate. So we'll create a new um, internal spreadsheet, and we'll just call this spreadsheet arrivals. And so that's just going to create a brand new spreadsheet and populate it with this data. Um, according to this data flow, we are importing it from Excel. And we'll want to clear the internal spreadsheet before report import. Um, so that's everything set up here. Um, simulate, again, will automatically import that data. So I will click OK, and we have now created a connection. So here you can quickly see um, the, the data within this connection. And now to actually perform the import, we will select that and click this Import Export button here. And Simulate has automatically brought this over from Excel. Um, we can also see that up here on the Data and Rules tab, you can import all or export all if you have a list of connections. Um, or you can use this drop down and select certain connections so you can quickly do that without having to come into this menu. Um, furthermore, if we want to get into a bit more detail with this, we do have this Advanced Settings tab. So you will see that as, as we imported it, it's automatically populated these cells with the data ranges um, that were calculated from Excel. However, I can change these, um, these data ranges if I would like to um, you know, constrain it for any means. So I, I, in fact, I only need the first 10 rows. I'm not going to take the first um, 100 rows from that spreadsheet. So if I do that and click OK and then perform the import, um, you will now see that this is still the same spreadsheet, spreadsheet arrivals, but it now only has the 10 rows of information. Um, because if I navigate back to this, um, the Excel connection, you can see that I, I, I wanted to clear it before import. So what that's doing is it's giving me a clean, fresh sheet, and it's not going to overlap any data that might have been existing in you know, skew results or anything like that. Um, so this can be a very powerful tool um, just because a lot of information is stored in Excel. And by doing this, Simulate will automatically do this for you, and it just makes um, setting up your simulation a whole lot easier.